Yep. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm Derek. And I'm Steve. Welcome to the Men of the Den, and this is Monday. Oh yeah, there you go. So what are we talking about this week, Greg? I have no idea. What are we talking about? I don't know. We just decided to start filming. My eyes are burning. I think I have allergies. Oh no, hopefully not to the plants. Uh, no, no, it couldn't be to the plants that we got. I think it's just to nature in general. Yeah. So. I, oh, I had an idea earlier. Yeah? yeah? What would you say the songs of your teenage years were? Ooh. Oh, oh man. Oh. Don't ask me why. Yeah. I was in my bath earlier and I was thinking of oh, that song is more iconic for our teenage years. You were listening to the Rankin family while you thought it. That's true, but if that isn't one of my iconic teenage years songs. Oh man, I, mine is pretty thematic. Uh, I had an album by Anti Flag. I think it was called uh, the, the the Fascist State or the the Terrorist State. The Terrorist State, yeah. Yeah, the Terrorist State, and it was uh, a punk album that came out like post 9/11. Very anti-war, very anti-George Bush. This was the whole, like, um, they invaded Iraq for no really good reason. There was some really great punk rock from that era. Right, yeah. So that one for me was pretty iconic. Uh, Teenage Steve, along with uh, Bad Religion. Um, I can't remember the name of the album, but one of the later ones that came out, like, early 2000s. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, my father being a minister was all very like, ooh, teenage rebellion. <laughs> Which about religion album? Was that the Grey Race or around, was around that time? I remember that one. I oh, was well, looking later. up while yeah. the next person talks. Hi, right, Greg. Let's right. talk about music from your teenage years. So we talk about you and your underwear. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's a nice sunny day. It is. Look at this. Look at all these. People sunbathing. And to be fair, and to be fair, it could be a bathing suit. It could be. It's the same material. It is. Um, so I would say Tragic Kingdom, Jagged Little Pill. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think of one by a male singer because I'm, I'm listing all the ones off by females. But, um, oh, Amanda Marshall. Herself. Oh man, you herself, love Amanda Marshall. Her self-titled album, yes. I miss her so much. Um, I think other ones are my teenage years. The, uh, the first Robin album, the one before she got big, like back in her first run. Robin is here? Yes. Uh, actually, was it just self-titled? Her first no, album? it was called Robin is here. Oh, that's the one with Show Me Love. Yeah, and... that's the one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Did you figure out which album it was? Yes, it was called The Process of Belief. Yes, I remember that album. It had a really weird album artwork with like some scientific figures. Uh, very good album. Uh, very, you know, uh, melodic chorus singing in that album. That's what I love about Bad Religion was like those choruses where everyone was singing all at once and the harmonies were just perfect. Like my old band used to play 21st Century Digital Boy and that, those vocals are not easy to get. And there was also, let us not forget, that's when Blink-182 was in the peak of their popularity, and there's that song, the Where Are You song, I Miss You, with yeah. Blink-182. Oh yeah, that was Where on the reunion are you? album. And I'm so sorry. Uh, so that was big, as was Green Day, American Idiot. Man, I can't believe, like, these were songs that I was in university. Yeah, these are... Oh, oh, big shout out to uh, one of my favorite albums was the first compilation album. I was big into, like, the Now albums and all those ones, but the one I... Now, that's what I call music. The one I liked the best was the the original Frosh album. Do you remember Frosh? I do remember Frosh. I remember compilation albums. Yes. I'm going to spin the camera on you. I miss compilation albums. (laughs) Whatcha? Hello, it's me. (laughs) Oh. So albums from my youth. Um, well, let's talk about the embarrassing new metal stage in my life. <laughs> Ooh. 
High school, remember? High yeah. school. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the teenage years. Like, my first album when I was 13 that I bought with my own money was Nine Inch Nails, The Downward Spiral, Ooh. which is a really dark album to, like, as your first album, and to enter your formative years. But, like, I listened to a lot of Korn. I listened to a lot of Slipknot. I listened to Deftones. And Deftones is probably the one of those bands that actually stuck with me until now. Especially the album White Pony. I remember it came out the same day as we graduated high school. And me and Jeremy, who's been in quite a few of our videos, just listened to that album non-stop. Um, yeah, so... Wait. <laughs> just trying to get the right angles? No, your volume. My volume? Okay. Take your volume. Okay, I was just realized I was kind of, thought I was kind of fired from the phone. No, no, it's okay. um, but yeah, those are some of my formative albums before I got into my 20s when I started really getting into indie pop and whatnot. But there was also some good, like, hardcore albums I was into, like... There was like old Bane records, old Murder City Devils, so yeah, I was pretty heavy and angsty when I was a teenager. Who wasn't, am I right? Some I of us are still angsty to this day. Who, me? No. Me. Okay, if, <laughs> if by angsty you mean bratty, maybe. What's some music that you guys are really into right now? Uh, the new Lady Gaga single, Rain On Me. Yeah. <laughs> Chromatica in general is a whole amazing album start to finish. It is the music of Final Fantasy X, historical past Xanarkin that they would listen to, <laughs> for sure. That's every time I put on house music you say, you say yeah. that, but it's true. It is true. Yeah. I haven't done the gay thing yet, I've done the whole get in the shower and Lip sync to rain on me yet. So. Well, when we gonna, we should have started our video with that. I know, right? I know. Failed. Yeah. It's not too late. We could go back in time and re add it. It's you true. should show them your plant garden. Okay, I'm gonna go back to to. Actually, no, I'll go back to this view. So, yeah, um, thank you, Adam Forsyth, for giving me some plants. So, I thought this was Cedar Sucker Sedge the whole time. Turns out it's spider wart and it's got its first flower this morning. Uh, I got some Gabanas, which are pretty fucking cute. Tell a little about how they almost died and then we saved them. Yeah, these guys almost died yesterday, especially this flower and this flower. But uh, just realized I just didn't really do my research on watering and was underwatering them. But we got some new buds growing in here. Ooh. I'm excited. Then we got some herbs over here that were given to us. We haven't figured out what the type these ones are yet. We were told the daisies, but they're not really sprouting yet. And I'm wondering if these two are the same plant. So if anybody on, on, that watches this as a botanist, please tell me. Yeah. What did Google Lens say? Plantain, plantago. Plantain? But the Google Lens also said that this was a seersucker sedge, and then turns out that was the wrong thing. We have a kitty who wants, who really wants to eat these plants. It's true. She's addicted to trying to eat the plants. Yeah. That's all we can do to fend her away from them. Yeah. Okay, so are we gonna close up the video? Mm -hmm. As always, like, share, subscribe to the rest of the guys' videos, and have yourselves a great week. Bye.